In this video, we'll make this 2D drawing. So let's start with a simple line tool. So I'll go to this line command and click anywhere in the drawing area and make a straight line with length of 230 units and press enter. Now press enter again to exit this command and now go to the circle tool and click on this endpoint of the line and make a circle with radius of 11 units and press enter. Press enter again and go to the same center point and make another circle with radius of 9 units and press enter. Now let's zoom into this area once again and make another circle with radius of 4 units here. So let's type 4 and press enter. Now here we have it, these three circles. Now let's go to the line tool again and click on this midpoint and make a line in the downward direction with a length of 7 units and press enter and press enter again to exit this command. Now we'll copy this complete concentric circle geometry and we'll copy it from this center point and we'll copy it to this point and to this point. Now let's go to the circle tool again and click on this point, the center point of these concentric circles and make another circle with radius of 17 units and press enter. Now let's go to this circle fly out, expand it and select this tangent tangent radius option. Now click on this circle and then on this circle and enter a radius of 200 units and press enter. Now we need to trim this extra portion here. So for that I'll select this trim tool, press enter and click here to remove it. Now we can make a mirror image of this for that select it. Now go to the mirror tool, click on the center point of this circle and then click on this midpoint and press enter. Now we need to offset this one to a distance of 22 units. So for that I'll select the offset tool and enter a distance of 22 units, press enter, select this geometry and click upwards. Repeat the process for this arc as well. And now we need to add fillets. For that here we have this fillet, select it and enter a radius of 5 units. So type R, enter, 5, enter and select this multiple option. Click on this arc and click on this circle. Repeat it for this arc and this circle as well. Now press enter to exit this command. And now we can remove all the unnecessary geometries which are no longer required. So we don't need this line and we also don't need this vertical line. Now let's go to the line tool once again and track this point, this quadrant and click anywhere close to this point and make a straight line like this. Now go to the offset tool and enter 27 as the offset distance and click on this line and make an offset here. Now go to the offset tool again and this time enter a distance of 50 units, press enter. Now click on this line and click on the right side and press enter to exit this offset tool. Now go to the trim command, press enter and trim all the extra edges here. We don't need them here. And also remove this line, it's also no longer required. And go to this offset tool once again and enter an offset distance of 11 units, press enter and make another offset of this arc here. Now we need to rotate these two lines with respect to this intersection point. For that I'll select this rotate command and now select this line and press enter. Now click at this intersection point and enter an angle value of minus 15 unit and press enter. Now go to the rotate command again, click on this line, press enter, click on this intersection point and enter an angle value of 15 units and press enter. Now we can remove this arc, it's not required anymore and we need to make more offsets here. For that I'll go to this offset tool and enter offset distance of 3 unit, press enter, click on this arc and click upwards. Now click on this arc and click downwards. And now we need to make some fillets. So go to the fillet tool, click on this radius option and enter a radius of 1 unit, press enter. Now select this multiple option and now click on this line, then this arc, this line, arc and repeat the process for all of these four edges and here we have it. Now we need to make a mirror image of this on this side. So I'll select this complete geometry, go to the mirror tool, click on this center point and directly click upwards and press enter. 
now we need to remove some extra portions here for this circle so i'll go to this trim tool press enter now I'll click on this part and this part and here we have it the final 2d geometry as per our requirement